beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a minimalism life hack video, which I'm so excited about because minimalism is something I've become incredibly interested in and trying to start incorporating it into my life and living a more minimalist lifestyle, which I think is amazing. Obviously I do have still a ton of stuff, but over the course of this year, like my new year's resolution was to really, really downsize. And I have a lot and I've been posting videos on my vlog channel kind of of my minimalist journey if you're interested in checking those out. And before we get into the video, I am having a $100 Visa gift card giveaway running until June 30th. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed and also follow me on Instagram and I will be announcing the winner over on Instagram as well. So let's go ahead and get started with these life hacks. This first life hack has to do with decluttering your closet. For me, this is the biggest thing I wanted to downsize and declutter. And I feel like that's a big staple for a minimalist journey, having less belongings and less articles of clothing. I did a really big deep clean about two months ago now over on my vlog channel and I got rid of a ton of stuff in my closet. So now it's time for me to go back in and kind of pick out what I haven't worn. Now as I do this, I have some brand new pieces with tags on it or like have only been worn maybe once, maybe twice. Uh, so like incredibly new clothes. So what I like to do is sell them on the app Poshmark. This is my favorite app to sell clothes on because they make it so easy for you. I've tried a ton of different methods to sell my clothes and this is hands down the easiest. So like even if you don't have a following, so many people can find your things, which I think is awesome. So they make it super easy and they have a very large user base. And also I love the fact that the shipping is all through the app. So when an item sells, all I have to do is print out a shipping label that they send you that the buyer has already paid for. And then you just stick it on your package and you could drop it in like a blue collection box or take it to the post office. So these are some of the items that I'm personally selling in my Poshmark. I will be listing a ton more stuff every time I go through my closet like this. So you could just follow me on Poshmark and you'll always be updated. When I post new things, you will see it in your feed. Um, what's great about Poshmark also is you can make an offer on a piece, so don't hesitate to make me an offer if you see something you like, but maybe it's a little outside your price range. And you could also do this with your own clothes. So if you have a Poshmark, list your shop in the comments. I'll be sharing some of them on my Snapchat, and I really wanna like look at your guys' stuff because if you're not selling, you could also buy on Poshmark. And what I have used this for is buying like some really nice expensive pieces from like free people and just like higher brands that you might not want to pay full price for but you get a great great deal and a lot of the stuff I bought is like barely ever used it looks like brand new after I go about and declutter my closet and really see what I have what I like to do is see what I need this way I'm not going to the store buying a ton of stuff just because I like it not necessarily because I need it so say I need some new shorts for the summer maybe my other ones are too short or they don't fit right or I don't have like a pair of black shorts. So I'll put like black shorts on a list and I'll keep a list of things I need. That way if I'm out shopping and I, want, I feel like buying something, I can just like look and kind of focus in on which particular item that I'm looking for. Another tip I have is to start in one area at a time because I know when I first wanted to like try minimalism and start downsizing, it is very overwhelming because so many of us have so many things laying around everywhere it's kind of hard to know like where to start so my starting place was my closet and then I just went into my makeup desk and clean out all my makeup the other day and I did some in the kitchen I did like little sections at a time this way I'm not like overwhelmed trying to declutter my whole house so something I've stopped buying and really starting to reduce a lot is all my duplicates so what I mean by this is I have so many backup shampoos and conditioners, body gels, lotions. So I am not buying any of that stuff. Realistically, when I start running low on something, that's when I should buy a replacement and not stockpile all types of things. Because personally, it takes me forever to use up like just about everything. It takes me a long time to use up almost any product I have. So it's a real challenge to get rid of it. So luckily Andy helps me with a lot of that, like all my face cleaners and stuff like he uses all my face washes too. So really try to reduce our stockpile. But when we run out, it's like literally I'm going into my bathroom and I was like, oh, I have like three more face washes. What else do I need? The reason this is kind of hard for me is I do get sent 
quite a bit of stuff. Not as much as I used to since I don't do as many like makeup and beauty videos anymore, but I still get like PR packages. So I try, if I have a ton of something, um, I try to give it to friends and family or do a giveaway for you guys. So I have completely stopped buying duplicates. And another area that this applies that I have been loving I'm like obsessed with this is my cleaning supplies normally for my cleaning supplies i have like a kitchen spray a kitchen degreaser a bleach spray for the bathroom and then a window cleaner and like so many different cleaners that basically all do the same thing so a way i've been not only saving money but reducing all the clutter under my sink where all my cleaning products were is i've been making a lot of my own cleaning products and what i do i'm going to share with you guys this little recipe i do for my own like all-purpose disinfecting cleaning spray what I like to do is take three cups of hot water and mix in a half a cup of white vinegar because this is going to be the disinfecting part and also add in two tablespoons of borax and what I like to finish it off with is just some like tea tree oil to make it smell nice now believe it or not you do not smell the vinegar at all and it's an awesome cleaner between the borax and the white vinegar both of them work wonders and the measurements actually don't have to be exact I've seen so many different recipes on online for homemade like natural good cleaners and all of them use a little bit different you know measurements for each thing so they don't have to be exact this is just what I use and find it works really really well the biggest thing to like a minimalist lifestyle is keeping all your surfaces really clear so this is like my biggest thing I've been trying to work on is keeping like my kitchen counters clear kitchen table side tables just keep it all clean and once you have it cleared and get into the habit of it it is extremely easy to upkeep so this the biggest thing for me is kind of putting away the dishes from the night before tidying up the counters wiping them all down so they're clean and when i do wipe them down and wipe down all my surfaces i tend to just go around the whole house and wipe down my kitchen counters and i wipe down the nightstands and everything that could collect dust and i just use a microfiber towel with the spray i made and it works great and it's also really good to use the microfiber towels. They work really well at picking up all the grime and dust and everything, and you're not wasting paper towels. All right, so that's all I have for you guys for this video. Please let me know if you would like to see more minimalist type of videos, whether you wanna see more like DIY cleaners or just different life hacks or just like a cleaning video even. Let me know what you would like to see. Also, don't forget to check out my Poshmark. I will link it down below. Get selling on your own Poshmark and share it with me in the comments and I will be sharing some of your guys' stores, trying to help you guys get rid of your old stuff as well. And if you missed my last videos, you can click on over to the side of me. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.